What up, Blockchain Nation? What up, YouTube? Thank you for taking the time to subscribe to this, uh, to watch this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below so that you can get weekly notifications whenever I release videos. And for those who watch on a consistent basis, I want to say a big thank you, thank you, thank you. You are far indeed too kind. So, artificial intelligence and machine learning has become a huge buzzword. And there are so many ways to get involved in this uh, space, in this industry. And I want to mention or talk about two different ways. And then you can decide which is a better approach. So there is a centralized platform or centralized platforms out there like AWS, Google, Microsoft Azure, which you can use to build. Uh, they have services that are already running that you can use to build a, um, uh, artificial intelligence applications. Or there is a decentralized framework, which we're also going to talk about. So. Very, very quickly, for those who are not sure what artificial intelligence is, AI is just a way of mimicking human behavior and using that to build applications. You have concepts like machine learning, like voice recognition, and like um, object recognition as well. So there are different APIs or services that have been created that we can build upon that you can use to build AI applications. So if you're ready, see I'm ready. So first we're gonna look at AWS. AWS as a cloud service has a, um, couple of services that you can use to build out certain features of AI or certain applications that have used some AI concepts, whether it's machine learning or whether it's um, voice recognition. So we're going to look at that real quick. So first of all, you can log into your AWS console. You can create a free, free tier account by going to console.aws.amazon or just Google AWS console and you can create a free account. And so, the service, there are different services. Let's just list those real quickly by just saying um, artificial RT artificial yeah, let's just say machine learning. This will give you a couple of services, I believe, or well, just to make it easier, let's go to the console right here. And let's just come here where it says, oh, we see blockchain, we see all services, we see media services, machine learning, here we go. So there are different services that you can use depending on what you're trying to do. So we're just gonna show you one called Amazon Recognition. So if you come up here to Recognition, click here, it takes you right to the recognition uh, page. So let's just try doing a demo. So the cool thing about this is all this is already predefined and the team of Amazon has already done the work. So as you can see this image here, it scans through all these different objects and it tells you what they are. So it says on this picture, you have a car, you have a human being, you have a person and this is the percentage match, whether it's 98% or otherwise. So you can also click on this other image and then it basically does an API call. It does a request here, as you can see, and then this is the result. So it says in this picture, the building 99% is whether it's a town, whether it's an urban area, whether it's a city, and the likes. So this is a cool way of application that does this for you. You can also look at image moderation. So in this case, you can also use this for privacy controls. So it blurs out this picture and uh, you can say, let's view the content and it can show whether it's something that you can watch. So you can, you can see recognition automatically detects explicit or suggestive adult content. So you, you can use this to create like child-friendly uh, websites so that you can blur out inappropriate content. So as you can see, if you use this picture, it analyzes this and it gives you results and it tells you it's suggestive 94% of what it is that's coming up. You can use it for facial analysis, here it looks at this face and tells you this face is smiling, appears to be happy. It's a really powerful tool is what recognition is. So like in this picture, it tells you, analyzes all the faces. It says this is a, let's click on this one. It looks like a face, it appears to be female, 99%, five to 15 years old and the likes. So it, it does a lot of things you can do with recognition. You can do face comparison. You can look at this image and you get the gist. So it's a, an interesting tool very very powerful tool that you can use for different things so basically it's just some api calls 
you can download the Amazon SDK and then you can um, play around with this and see what it does. So this is a uh, centralized approach using it, the AWS console. So because what we talk about here is blockchain technology and all things blockchain, I'm going to show you a very, very powerful tool by Singularity.net. Now this is a decentralized platform that you can use to build um, applications. Now this is very powerful. It's an AI marketplace. This is what Singularity.net is. So what is Singularity.net? Uh, I'll just show you real quick. So it's a platform for open source AI to provide AI as a service to everyone. Let me just play this video. So this is a talk by Dr. Ben Grotzo that explains what you're going to do. Platform for open source AIs to provide AI as a service to everyone, to allow contributions from anyone, and for the AIs to talk to each other so as to achieve emergent intelligence beyond what any AI can do on its own. It leverages a bunch of AI I've built with my colleagues in the OpenCog project and and Hanson Robotics, including the AI powering very various things that, that, that we do with this robot. And it, it's really aimed at, at three different goals. So one is to create what I've called ATI, or Artificial General Intelligence, which I'll talk about in a moment. Another is to provide machine learning as a service, which is both broader in what it can do and less expensive than what's offered by, by large corporations and other alternatives now. And finally, to ensure that AI is developed further and further with more and more intelligence and more and more reach, then it, it benefits everyone on the planet and incorporates everyone's efforts and, and everyone's input. And the, these are three big goals, but they're, they're, they're connected to each other. And so I'll put a little bit lower so you can watch the full web video. Now this is very, very powerful. So as opposed to having a centralized platform like AWS that has the services that you can use, and there are so many tools on AWS that you can use, but I mean, Singularity.net is so powerful because it's an AI marketplace. You have so many services that are built by different developers, and the powerful thing about it is open source. So you can actually look for a uh, service. So let's say we want to look for something that does facial recognition, there we go. So here is to detect faces. So you open up, go to the Singularity.net marketplace. So these are coming up. So your service demo, you have free API calls, you can run this for free. You can drag and drop an image here. Aha, let's look at this picture. Response closes down here as well. This has a lot to do with the format of my pictures, but you get the gist. So let's go back. So basically it's an AI marketplace. You can check if this dog is black. It gives you a whole bunch of services that you can play with. So the great thing is that it's open source and the contributions are done by so many developers. So you have emotional recognition where you can look at scan faces and see if somebody's happy, somebody's smiling, somebody's sad. So it does facial recognition, it does image retrieval, it does network robustness. So there's a whole host of services and it's open source. So as opposed to AWS here or other cloud platforms that have a limited amount of services that you can run, Singularity.net for example. This is an AI marketplace. This is a marketplace where you can go to and you can look at different APIs that you can use to different things, uh, different concepts, whether it's machine learning, whether it's voice recognition, whether it's uh, image recognition. And then you now have a, a marketplace of all marketplaces. So here is the decentralized AI alliance. So what this has done is it has brought together different marketplaces. So Singularity.net is not the only distributed um, AI platform. So we have Singularity.net and other platforms that, or people or concepts or applications or industries that are doing this pretty much the same thing. So the alliance or the foundation has brought all these companies together to create a very, very huge marketplace where you can shop for different APIs, where you can shop for different services, uh, where you can do a whole bunch of stuff. So the question is, do you use a centralized platform or do you use a decentralized platform? So for me, I'm always a big fan of open source. I'm always a big fan of things that are distributed that have a whole more contributors or more people that can participate on the um, framework. So for something like Singularity.net or the Decentralized AI Alliance where you have more developers, I think that's the advantage of a tool like this or a platform like this, is that you have more developers that are contributing to it. The source code is open source. You have a team of teams of different people all around the world that are building all these APIs. And I really think that these platforms will um, 
make more sense than having a decentralized or having a centralized platform. I'm not saying centralized anything wrong with centralized platforms, but they might have their limitations due to the number of people who are contributing to the source code, in my personal opinion. So tell let me know what you think. What do you think is a better um, use case using a centralized platform or going with a decentralized distributed AI platform like decentralized like um, singularity.net one of the decentralized AI last partners so watch this video in, com in its completion I'll put some links below uh, some other videos that you can watch as well so that's all I have till next time my wish for you is that you learn more about blockchain technology because blockchain is changing and will change the world whether it's through AI, machine learning, cloud computing, um, to web applications. I personally believe that those who get involved early will greatly impact the future. And if that is you, then let's go change the world.